Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh... Morning, Mr. Yu. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Hello, Dr. Yu. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan! Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. 
Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Not your problem, right? Almost done. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, this is my coffee. It's empty. Oh, oh my God! Security! Security! Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. No one. 
has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, 
When you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next.
of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. Safety measure. It's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. 
If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it.
Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. And something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the Arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. There's a route through the Psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. This is Security Chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Hello, Morgan. My team this time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment to Alex as a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the robot division, along with the supply cache. Meet me back in the foyer. Your office isn't safe. The station. Get to a safe area.
know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. More specimens required. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments like a frozen light. The Typhon weave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. But the way you are now, the way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Good. Sending you the code to a safe in Director Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Hello. Do that. Maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. Hello, Dr. Yu. Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful. But they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. You good in that armoring? Well, I was gonna get you. here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol, your concerns have proven to be correct. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. Do you know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Wait, who are you? Since 
Morgan, this is January. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. Langley! Hey, what's the matter? He's... he's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried... Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. <laughs> The entire Typhon ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first.
Nice work. The entrance to deep storage is off the Arboretum. Your brother's office is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. He used to say that behind his back. But that would make you... what? Neptune? Pluto. cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah, just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site? The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. That Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, Sam is a sorcerer. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful than the scan he would tell you more. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. Ja here, Chief. How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant 
Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is, and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. He used to sneak into my room when we were kids, hack into my computer. I still remember when you ruined my Galactic and Kistador save files. I broke your arm when I found out. I regret that now. But I'm still not fine with you messing with my stuff. Once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower, near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid. Ivy? Ivy? <laughs> Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m.
Dio Igwe. Kill gold. This is ours. Chief to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Where will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the puppet bombs. into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door. Oh, forget that, it just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire of Ratmen, oh spellless wonder, we don't... Captain? <laughs> Did I? I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. All right. Uh, Elias has... Stab fellow! Stab fellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door. Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men. Oh, spellless wonder. We don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! 
Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcripts. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right... I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to... Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right... I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> Yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Naramod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Danielle? Had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. You family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with them is easy, but did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. Dear future us, today... Future us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today... I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Identification required. Please repeat the following words. Chameleon. Corkscrew. Entropy. Pencil. Chameleon. Corkscrew. Entropy. Pencil. Trust your army. 
main key, it was to keep you from making a huge mistake. It's too late to stick our heads in the sand. We're committed now. You should be safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just... not yourself. Welcome to Deep Storage. If Talos-1 had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality.
Hello, Dr. Hugh. Microgravity detected. You're not what they say you are. Can you hear us? <laughs> Rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them off like an antivirus. Morgan? Morgan! This is Chief Elazar. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be, try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here if you need help. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from in here. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Oh, at last. I thought that crate would be my coffee. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, it's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission. 
despite everything he's suffered. Though I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Dr. Yu! Morgan! Up here! Officer Cool! If we can't open the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Remind me never to cross you. You killed them all. Uh, let me open the door. Sir. Hey, Dr. Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Move. It makes me sick. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh. Corpse? Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam. Promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Don't know if Wiggy, uh, Dr. Igwe, is lucky to be here or not. Might so have been you came all this crate. way? Only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... Wait. You have the Fabrication Plan already. My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you. Doctor. Let's get the EATs built, deployed, and then... Then we'll see how fast those bastards can shapeshift into corpses. There must be a way to get some turrets online. Gatorina, you still doing all right? I am, Officer Rose. Thank you. It's Al. No burn? No. You pulled me out just in time. Al. Well, you live dangerously, playing with fire like that. I'll try and let you know before I do it again. Please do. 
Don't leak a light. <laughs> All right, I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the attacker. It's just a saying. It, it means, uh, are you doing okay? Oh. Um, Officer Rose. Ow. Thank you. Good to hear it. Doctor Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Doctor Yu, that was out of line. Forgive me. Nicole, so she didn't make it. I... You didn't have to do this, but I... Thank you, sir. And Morgan? I owe you an apology. Once you vanished into the sim lab, Sarah asked me to try and learn what I could from the psychotronic staff, discreetly. I took too long, but I... learned you were in the lab without your consent. I didn't even consider that possibility. When we heard... Sarah was quick to begin action against your brother, but then, well, things fell apart. I should have worked harder, dug deeper, especially after all you've risked for us. I'm sorry. Katarina, it's been so long since I've seen you. Yes, yeah, it feels like years. I'll take that as a compliment. Deploying. Diagnostic check. EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Bay B. If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe he can be of some help elsewhere. Nothing is. I need a cigarette. Now that we are secure here, we can hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Well, that's some fine shooting if I do say so myself. Michael, not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan's making his way to you now. Warning you and anyone else. 
so you don't shoot him accidentally. Or on purpose. Morgan? I thought he was Elsa. are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexis. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock bomb. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... We'll just get here, all right? like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on. You want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh -huh. Well then, we have a problem, Tobias. Dr. Kelstrom has already seen and approved. I'm going to need to see a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But so, until I see ink on the dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrom. told me you plugged a leak in an unconventional manner a few weeks ago. Yeah? 
Was it an ass-kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. Care to elaborate? Not if I'm going to get my pee, -pee slapped. Worse! I'll dunk you in the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. I thought that How'd was you that, boss? <laughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. Where did that thing come from? Was it... Tony? The way it was looking at me. I'd get up. <laughs> Except for my legs. Alert. And my lungs. Repair is needed. Nervous Please system. contact a qualified Don't look surprised. engineer. Paraplexus, remember? You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the lifts. I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor control room. <clears throat> There's a panel for shutting down everything. The whole station. The computer will scream at you, but just do it. Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. It should. System it alert. will. Repair is needed. No. Please contact Go. a qualified engineer. You don't remember her. But she remembers you. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos 1. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth. But you made an exception. I'm not sure if that makes you... Responsible now. She won't last long without her medication. It's up to you if you want to help her. This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Bellazar and her people in the cargo bay. Especially considering. Well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope. Even if it's brief.
Station Power Grid offline. Photovoltaic rings offline. Life support offline. Magnetosphere offline. Offline. Main reactor cold shutdown. In 3, 2, 1. Reactor successfully shut down. Initiating main reactor ignition sequence in 3, 2, 1. Gravity online. Earth online. Magnetosphere. Warning. Reactor initialization interrupted. Routing auxiliary power. Honolith. Idiot was supposed to check those diverters a week ago. All right, Morgan. Going down to fix it yourself. Or find a replacement if we're that lucky. of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Please contact a qualified well, engineer. I see. You have said everything. Careful, Nick. Talos 1 is Just wide open went now. Off clever. In the coolant chamber. Reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. Now they are not going to get in your way anymore. Shot and you deserve to hear the truth. It's like shooting a grenade All of it. Come up to my office. Morgan? Microgravity detected. Oh, God, Morgan, I... You surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, write it in there. Just look for the marks. <coughs> it was harder when I was doing it myself. <sighs> oh, God, I can breathe again. And feel my legs. Warning. Still have some spots in your eye. I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. Evacuate. You risk your life to help her. Or it makes me think the neuromod extraction the didn't erase everything. Not completely. Perhaps particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions. Intuitive feelings. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to? I don't mean to be insensitive. But when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos 1, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station.
office, Morgan. I haven't been here since... I believe it was the time where your medical condition was discussed, Chief Engineer Lucian. What the hell? Morgan, is that... I am January. Morgan Yu's personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. All right, January. Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Chief Ilyushin, please do not... Morgan, this is Dr. Igwe. Admitted to your office. Igwe, what are you doing here? How did you survive? Chief Ilyushin? Well, I... Dr. Igwe. I would. What is that? Is... Is that you, Morgan? Hardly. This is January, Morgan's attempt at having a conscience. But as per usual, it's only evidence of his ego. There's a number of responses I can make to this, Chief Ilyushin. But we are pressed for time. And Dr. Igwe is already showing signs of anxiety and disorientation. Fine. Make yourself useful, Igwe. Stand watch and keep away from the fabricator. Yes, Chief Ilyushin. And, uh, January. Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. I found the right materials for the glue gun as well. Was able to make several canisters. I also found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them, no twitching. To be sure, I let Igwe sample them first. Pardon me? I'm joking, Igwe. I wouldn't willingly expose you to aliens, or anyone else. That would be... inhuman. apparatus immediately.
Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Dr. Igwe, are you approaching the crew facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is... is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. 
I'm sending you an audio file that will open the safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe. The lock was key to the first concerto Lightner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were bored. Doctor, you... What happened? Where... Oh God, please tell me you killed that... thing. I came up here to deploy the EATs. The Eradicator turrets. Then it was like all the color bled from the world. Everything had an... edge to it. I, I couldn't control myself, I... But... The EATs are still in the small arms closet nearby. We could still use them. Here's the code. I'm going to make my way to the cargo bay. Security was supposed to fall back there. <laughs> Sarah will have my ass if I don't. You seem... frustrated. I have... months that are just gone. I I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth <laughs> time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Well, I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. But you left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no, that's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know, I, I, I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this, all right? That Morgan is not me, I would never... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Titan? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill! I want this station shut down. I want Earth. Morgan. I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. There's no trick, just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth. 
like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer. Another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. <laughs> because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know, including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. And my gut tells me it's a kind of neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down if it ever broke containment. <laughs> Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He doesn't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. <laughs> what else are we gonna do? Blow everything up? That won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests. They changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my brother back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Coral to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Coral. I'll send you the scan locations. Morgan, that video was... I'm still... 
checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Here's my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. Morgan? Transfers hold it. Something. Or someone. Shit. This is Commander Walter Dahl. The Transtar Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One. Effective immediately. All employees must now report to the Shuttle Bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Dal out. Well locked out. It's Dal. He already has his hooks into every major system of what Telos want. I have to admit I'm disappointed with our parents. And usually they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use him against their own flesh and blood. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. 
See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. Morgan, I was worried Darlow, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCN9 black box operators. Not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us. As long as you have not killed him. You see, Dahl is a recipient of several neuromods, a standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dahl's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here, yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home, provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try, and there's been enough killing. Thank you. The strange brother. He I likes a microphone, like the world a spotlight. He can't resist, he live on. even though he's hiding. My wife could you have are running clearly. around like a nervous rat. I, I hear you, the you for me. chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you you've made, and or just get away? Done for me. I pride myself in being prepared for the I don't, worst. I don't but this, this is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Trans Star personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be psychotronics. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after- I'm 
told my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transnar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them. But you'll have to come out of the walls, Rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. Morgan! Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. Miss Elazar is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate and fall more quickly than any simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Office of Casper, status report. All major sir. Doors are working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls in life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Microgravity detected. Morgan, Dahl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit! You're out of your depth, Morgan. Just come out. Morgan! You did it! Halloween's transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his Neuromod, and hopefully, gaining his shuttle in the process. Dr. You? Morgan? Oh man, thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in Trauma Center. I came up here to look for supplies. I, I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. Never cease to impress me, Morgan. I'm coming out now. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. 
You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. The Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the no wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, I got problem. transport with the medical operator. Obstruction to Morgan. Thank you for what you did. You could have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the no wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex, but all my models point to suffering. Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, Dahl, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Anyone you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, 
say nothing. What? Who are you? Morgan? Your father's... been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Is this Where a joke? am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Da. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You... I don't... I've I don't seen understand. your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered Morgan. a severe... We need to evacuate at once. But we... We couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will black box me. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to think.
Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Microgravity detected. on our station. Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan. I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. What the hell have you... Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the comm terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos-1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. And more importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. What did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. 
It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Nullwave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... Is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. <laughs>